Oceans and seas cover 70% of the Earth. They contain about 97% of all the water on Earth. There are five oceans on Earth, the Pacific being the largest. After that is the Atlantic, the Indian, the Southern, and the Arctic Oceans. Let's learn about the various features of an ocean. Oceans contain many features that are formed where water and land meet. These, these include gulfs, bays, sounds, bites, straits, peninsulas, isthmuses, and islands. A gulf is a deep inland of ocean or sea surrounded by land with one narrow opening to the wider ocean. Gulfs vary in size, shape, and depth. Gulfs are sometimes connected to the ocean by a narrow passage of water called a strait. Gulfs are believed to have been formed by movement elements of the Earth's tectonic plates. The Persian Gulf is an almost enclosed sea, which is part of the Indian Ocean and lies between the Arabian Peninsula and Iran. A strait is a narrow waterway that flows between two land masses and connects two larger water bodies. Straits are also called channels. The Strait of Gibraltar enables water to flow between the Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea. The Babel Mandip Strait connects the Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea. The English Channel between England and France is also a strait. A bay is a body of water connected to an ocean and partially surrounded by a curved piece of land. A bay is usually smaller and less enclosed than a gulf, and the mouth of a bay is usually wider than that of a gulf. Some bays have been formed by continental drift, while others have been formed by erosion by seawater. The Bay of Bengal is the largest bay in the world. The largest enclosed bay is Hudson Bay in Canada. Bays are also called lagoons, sounds, and bites. A bite is a long, gradual curve or recess in the shoreline. It is usually larger and more open to the sea, and its waters are often quite shallow. The Great Australian Bight is one of the largest bights in the world. Peninsula is a section of land connected to the mainland and surrounded on three sides by water. Peninsulas are believed to be formed through continental drift or falling sea levels. Peninsulas can be long and thin, like Italy, or chunky, like the Arabian Peninsula. An isthmus is a narrow piece of land, separating two bodies of water and connecting two larger bodies of land. The isms of Panama, which connects North America and South America, lies between the Pacific Ocean on the west and the Atlantic on the east. Land surrounded on all sides by water is called an island. Most islands are tiny, and some are very large, like Greenland. Islands can be formed in a number of ways. Most islands that are close to other continents are linked to them by a continental shelf. Some remote islands are created by underwater volcanic activity. Some islands have been formed over a very long time by coral.